Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we got a fun hairstyle again. Okay, I told you I was coming with the looks. So this morning, I got up and I was like, I've had this look in my mind for so long and I'm like, today's the day, we're gonna do it, period. So I woke up, I dyed the hair, dyed wonderfully, okay? Like, it was so easy. It was so, so, so easy. You guys are gonna see that as well as the install and the styling and my thoughts on this hair. I am working with a new um, company today, Ashy Mary Hair. I've never worked with them before, but honey, I am impressed and we're here to stay, okay? Because I am just living for the quality of the wig, the lace, everything, especially because I had to bleach this hair and dye it and it's still like, it still looks so good. Like it doesn't look dry, doesn't look limp and it took the color so, so, so well. So for me, that gives it an A plus because all hair does not color. That is a very like, you know, so it's a tricky thing. You may buy hair, but it can't take color or it might dye weird or something. This, perfect. A plus for quality. So glad that I chose to do this specific style with this wig because it came out exactly how I wanted, like to the T, like exact. So if you wanna see how I got this hairstyle, my thoughts on this hair company and all that stuff, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channels, liking this video and keep watching. Alrighty, jumping straight into things. This is the bleach and developer I'm using today and then I'm using this oil. This oil basically helps with the texture of the hair while it's bleaching it it doesn't make it dry and brittle and all that so i definitely used two scoops of the bleach the powder bleach and then for the developer i don't know the measurements i just kind of added until it was a nice creamy consistency this particular developer is a little bit thicker so i like it because it doesn't run and it's not super messy but then also you have to add a lot so that you have one, enough product, and two, a nice consistency to penetrate the hair. So I'm sectioning off the hair into two. Honestly, I was like looking back at this and I was like, girl, you could have made this so much easier, but y'all know me, love to make things difficult. Um, I basically parted it in two when I could have really just did one plait in the front and like sectioned off the whole front. I just kind of made like a little U. Um, you can figure out where you want the color to be, the pop of the color, if you want it to be on the side, you want it to be on one side, the middle, you know what I'm saying? Do what works for you, you know, it's not one size fits all. So I'm just sectioning it off and plaiting it and then I proceed to um, bleaching the hair. So all I did was take a big old paintbrush like brush, it, it's actually a dyeing brush but it's big and dense like a paintbrush so it makes the job a lot easier. I'm going a little fast, but y'all will see. Um, and I just added it and I put foil on it and that's it. It's really easy because it's such a small section, like bleaching your hair is not super hard. But y'all, let me tell you, when I was bleaching this hair, it was getting hot. So I got nervous and washed it off. That's the only reason why I did a second, oh my gosh, I can't think. That's why I did a second bleaching process because I washed it off and then I, proceeded to do it with a 30 developer so that's the only reason why I did it twice
showing you guys this color because I wanted to just show you guys the true process of me doing my hair. So I bought this color and the color that I use later on at the same time, but I could not find the pink color, which is called Juicy. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to the store. I'm going to use what I have. And I was like, we're just going to do like a periwinkle, you know, light purple, whatever this is, um, patch or whatever. But the thing is, this was too light for this. And this is more of a tint. So Lime Crime has tint versions of their color which I think would work great on platinum blonde and then they have full coverage this was a tint so it just seemed like it was toning my hair so I immediately washed it out after this and then I was like you know what I'm gonna just bleach it one more time because I wanted the patch part to be bigger so I parted out a bigger piece and I proceeded to um, bleach it again but this time I used 30 developer instead of the 40 and it came out perfect it was the perfect shade so this time, like I told you guys before, just take out one piece, like one big chunk instead of trying to separate it and just dye it and call it a day. Came out perfect. I'm really, really glad that I did that. So next, I went to um, Sally's. I had to run to Sally's and get the Juicy because I was like, that's the color I was going to use originally. So we're just going to stick to it. I got a new one and I also got a um, Ion just in case it was like giving me tint vibes again because I didn't remember. Um... I got an ion color in magenta which would be similar if for some reason you can't find the lime crime or you want a cheaper alternative because the ion was half the price it's like eight bucks and the lime crime is like 16. so i basically just brushed it on and it was so different it was definitely more opaque it was thicker it was brighter so if you guys are interested in the lime crime which are great 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 dyes might i add just pay attention to the um what kind it is the full coverage is definitely going to be a lot better especially for this kind of you know coloring so i just brushed it on with the same brush i left it on for an hour and washed it off and i had a hot pink patch you guys it was super easy my camera unfortunately cut off at this point um but my hands were covered in pink so we just had to see it through okay y'all know just paint it on it's super easy there was no rhyme or rhythm just try not to get it on the lace and because I didn't dye it all the way to the root I, w I knew I wasn't gonna get it on the lace anyways Alright, so after that ordeal, I did bleach my knots, I plucked it, and I co-washed it. I did not use shampoo because shampoo will kind of strip the color, but I wanted to keep the vibrancy, so I co-washed it with silicone mix because also we did bleach the hair, so you wanted to make sure the hair was still soft and luscious and had a luster to it. So I'm applying my wig like I've been doing. I didn't switch anything up. I literally did the same exact steps, and it was melty, honey. She was cute. And for styling, I was like, okay, do I want to do straight? Do I want to do a half up, half down? Do I want to do space buns? I was like, you know what, girl? Y'all know me, okay? Curls. I really wanted, like, kind of a glam look. Like, I didn't want it to be... I wanted it to be playful, but it's already, like, so bold in the front that it's, like, I wanted it to be wearable, if that makes any sense. So I just did regular curls. I used my wand curl, but honestly, looking back, I wish I would have done, like the waves like you know like like curls and then the end straight or something or like more of an actual wave i can't explain it but i wish i would have done that but it still came out really really good i loved how the lace laid like 
the 13 by 6 is like always my favorite they just lay a lot better if you're ever looking for a wig and you're like 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 get 13 by 6 because it's gonna lay a lot more natural and I liked how thin this lace was also the quality of the hair was amazing so make sure you guys check out Ashy Mary hair I will leave all the information down in the description box below so you can get you a wig because we got us a winner okay and this wig was long too so I'm glad I chose this wig because I want it to be like kind of dramatic but like kind of wearable like y'all know I'd be all over the place but the looks come through the looks be completed and executed okay so I'm gonna continue melting my lace and while my lace is melting I'm gonna style my hair and like I said I'm just using my wand curl and I'm just gonna do some random curls throughout my hair and then I'm gonna layer it a little bit because I didn't want it to be like flat but then also looking back I should have left it flat but like it dropped really pretty later I think the curls were just too fresh why I kept playing with it because I was like oh it's just too like done you know like I this is the kind of look that needs to be like effortless because it's already so bold in a sense you don't want it to be like super duper curled and done but I promise you this hair fell so nicely it didn't drop like the curls didn't drop it just fell really really nice so that's all I did I just played with it I added some baby hairs I was debating too do I want to do baby hairs do I not want to do baby hairs you know just that's the whole fun of hair like figuring out what works for you what you like what kind of look you're going for and that's it so you're gonna see me playing with my hair a lot because I was like on the fence like did I execute did I not I wasn't sure but at the end I really really did like it so make sure you guys check out Ashy Mary hair I will leave all the information down in the description box below so make sure you guys check them out because the wig is literally like really bomb like this is really really nice hair and the wig and the lace and the construction everything about it was great so I will see you guys in my next video hopefully with a fun look next who knows what I'll do next because I'm just getting started okay and I'll see you guys next time